have a footprint in over 30 countries is what we understand. What's your perspective on banking in modern day Africa? Um, we believe that Africa is going through a major revolution in the yeah. banking space. I think what we're seeing is, is the African banking industry modernizing the introduction of new technology, new products. And we believe that institutions that look at Africa as a region and less as just countries stand to benefit from that change. I mean, we've seen um, changes coming in the form of, for instance, in Nigeria, a cap on universal banking and needing to separate merchant banking activities from retail banking. How vibrant is the space for investment banking? Because we definitely know we're now banking the unbanked, so retail banking is a growth uh, frontier. But what about other elements of banking? I think most aspects of banking in Africa are still in a growth phase. The investment banking area as well, um, the M&A space, for example, is still very young. Yeah. And I think in terms of just advisory work, uh, there's still a lot of scope. Uh, we're seeing new transactions coming on now, which I think support that thesis. What are the challenges of becoming a pan-African bank? I mean, you've got a profile across Africa in the 30 African countries. You've got to deal with the spectrum of currencies um, and in regulatory environments entering these new spaces. It must add to the costs of your startups, your operations, and just trying to get everybody to coalesce and, and sing from the same hymn sheet. We see every challenge as an opportunity. And quite frankly, what we're doing is not different from what the major global banks have been doing in the past. Right. So we're learning a lot from what has happened in the past and worked successfully. Yeah. When you look at the three leading African economies, South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya, and we've definitely seen revolutionary things happening in Nigeria. In Kenya, you've really grown in your profile and apparently are thinking of a listing, for instance. And just the fact that South Africa operates around a, a system where there are four major banks and maybe newer entrants on a tier two yes. level. How do, you, how do these economies compare? I think South Africa is certainly way ahead of the curve in terms of the development and evolution of the banking industry. And I think Nigeria and, and Kenya would eventually evolve into a situation where there's a small number of very large banks and perhaps a large number of very small banks. Okay, you're also moving into uncharted waters, we're told. Just recently you were in Zimbabwe um, and uh, bought into the Premier Finance Group. Why would you go into Zimbabwe at a time when we're talking about liquidity challenges and governance challenges? Uh, the Equibank story has been looking beyond perception to reality. We think that Zimbabwe does have some strong fundamentals that will eventually come true. And uh, apparently you're scouting in Angola. I don't know how true that is. Are you? And what are you hoping to achieve there? We have a representative office in Angola. Uh, we're looking at Angola. Angola is next to Nigeria, the second largest exporter of crude oil, and growing at double digits. So it's a market that's going to be significant. Okay, you mentioned M&A as another exciting area of banking terrain. Um, Nigeria, obviously, under the spotlight because you've got the eight or so rescued banks that are up for sale, foreign and local yes. bidders. We know in South Africa there's talk of HSBC and Nedbank. What do you think the face of banking will look like with consolidation going forward? I think what is going to happen in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole is further consolidation, and there's going to be a large number I mean, a small number of very large banks. Mm -hmm. And those banks are necessary because development requires large resources. Mm -hmm. We've seen it happen in South Africa. I think it's happening in Nigeria, and it will happen in Kenya. OK, in terms of growing your profile, whether you're going to do it by growing your loan book or acquisitions, what's your strategy going forward? Our strategy is flexible. We tend to grow organically, but we will take advantage of any acquisition opportunities. Mm -hmm. OK, talking about those acquisitions in Nigeria, for instance, we're told that you could have a bigger profile and you don't. Um, rumors abound that you could be doing a deal with First Bank. Is that true? And what's your strategy into Nigeria in terms of growth? I'm not aware that we're <laughs> looking at a deal with First Bank currently. <laughs> and I'm not sure First Bank is aware of that. I can only speak for Echo Bank. Uh, the Nigerian space is a very important space for us. Nigeria is the second largest economy. Right. And we'll take advantage of any opportunities as they arise. All right, thanks so much. Your views on Echo Bank? Yeah, let me, let me echo the same. I mean, five years ago, um, Africa was for the brave. Today, it's seen as a frontier for growth. Yeah. And that's why people are interested in it.